Mmm, chip and dip. Who doesn't love a good chip and dip? Let's say you're at a party, you're enjoying yourself, you glance across the room, and out of the corner of your eye, you see the ultimate party foul being committed. What is it? The dreaded double dip. What is that? You know what that is. That's where you take a chip, you dip it down inside, and you see somebody go like this. Mmm. That's so good. And they dip it again. They take their bacteria here and dip it down inside. It's disgusting. Now that's very controversial. Some people say no problem at all. Other people are revolted by the idea. It seems like a great science project to me and that's exactly what we did. So we set it up in science style with a controlled variable. First of all, four containers of dip all the same. This one was a no double dip. You see this? We did not go in and we did not double dip. Now I asked Higgins behind the camera if he would do five double dips in this one right here and he did. In, lick it, eat it, and do it again. 15 and 30. Higgins, how do you feel? I don't feel well. He's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. And so now we've got our, our, our test set up. Now we just gotta prove that there's more bacteria in the 30 than there is in the no double dip. And for that, we need the help of Julius Petrie and the Petri dish. That's right, early 1900s. This is the Petri dish. You can buy them this way and fill them with your own nutrient auger, but you can actually online buy them already filled. That's exactly what I would do. The technique looks something like this. They send you the cotton swab. You dip it down inside like this, and you don't need a lot. You inoculate the culture right there and throw that away and you're done. The lid goes on, I'm gonna do that three times for each one of the samples, but most importantly, I'm going to tape each one closed. It's so important that they never, ever, ever get opened up. So these get sealed shut like this, and now we're ready to go. All of these go onto the mat that you see over here, and now I've gotta show you what this looks like. It was at 85 degrees, that's a heating mat, for about a week, and let's see what happens, watch. As expected, the no double dip really doesn't give us many colonies. We're looking for little clumps or clusters. Five double dips, look at the little colonies starting to appear. Look at that. Not horrible, but not good. But would you look at this here? Look at the colonies being produced. Look at that. And finally, 30 double dips. This is a circus of bacteria in here. A playground. They're just having a blast. It is disgusting. If there's any question in your mind that double dipping is barbaric and horrible, it is. You don't double dip at all. In fact, when you're done with this experiment, you have a Ziploc bag, you take all of these and you put them in a Ziploc bag, you seal it up, you throw it away, you wash everything down, and you remind yourself that double dipping is disgusting. And if you need some help remembering, just burn that bad boy right into your mind. I'm Steve Spangler, and that's your No Double Dipping Science Minute. Disgusting. Oh. Well, thank you, Steve, for doing that. So no one else has to because that is gross. But I also just thought it was like a universal rule. Doesn't everybody know you don't double dip? I think. I, I think not because we wouldn't still talk about it as well, a as a reminder. It's a bad idea. But do you, do you feel like you're a little more comfortable with it? Like just you and your husband at home. Sure. Sure. You're just the hummus. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> but maybe not now. I think I'll buy him his own hummus. <laughs> Separate little containers. I, this guy, he is so funny. I just, yeah, I'm with you though. Like, who goes to a party and does that anymore? And if you're that never. guy, don't be that guy. Yeah. Please, don't be that. And look how you. gross it is. Now we have proof.